welcome to Propeller U. In this training module, we'll go over how to activate your Phantom 4 RTK drone. Here's what you'll need. Your Phantom 4 RTK aircraft, the remote controller, aircraft batteries, the remote controller battery, white charging hub, black charging hub, AC adapter, and the micro USB cable. The first step of the drone activation process is to get your batteries fully charged. Plug the AC adapter into a wall socket and then connect the opposite ends into the two included charging hubs. The white charging hub, which charges your aircraft batteries, will connect to the rectangular plug, while the black charging hub, which charges the remote controller's battery, will connect to the cylindrical plug. Make sure to switch the white charging hub to charging mode when attempting to fully charge the aircraft batteries. The other option, storage mode, will keep batteries at a 50% charge level for long-term storage. The black charging hub does not have charging modes, but instead has a switch that will either allow or mute a repeated beep once the battery is charged. Go ahead and insert the aircraft batteries into the white charging hub and the remote controller battery into the black charging hub. Charging the batteries typically takes between 30 to 45 minutes. So while we wait, we can take care of a few important tasks. These include creating your DJI account, downloading companion software, and ensuring your drone is protected. First, you will need to register a DJI account. This account will access all things related to operating and updating your drone. If you already have an existing DJI account, you can skip this step. Visit the link in this module's training materials to set up your DJI account. Simply enter your email address, a desired password, complete the verification step, agree to the privacy policy in terms of use, and then click Submit. Next, you will need to download the DJI Assistant 2 for Phantom software on your computer. This companion software will be used to complete the first time activation of the drone, as well as for performing any recurring firmware updates. Once the software is installed, you can minimize it for now as we won't need to use it until the aircraft batteries are fully charged. Finally, if you purchased your Phantom 4 RTK drone directly from Propeller or through one of our authorized resellers, you may have received an activation code for a protection service called DJI Enterprise Shield Basic. In the event of a crash or damage resulting from user error, this annual service plan will protect you from paying the full price to repair or replace the drone. Visit the link included in this module's training materials to bind your shield plan to your aircraft. Please note that the eligibility for the DJI Enterprise Shield Basic plan depends on the country you are in. DJI does not support this plan globally. For more information, please check out the supporting materials for this module or contact our hardware support team to learn more. The shield activation code must be entered and tied to the aircraft within 48 hours of activating the drone. If you believe you should have received a shield activation cone with your purchase but did not, please contact Propeller's hardware support team before moving forward with the activation process. Once your batteries are fully charged, insert an aircraft battery into the aircraft's battery bay and connect it to your computer using the supplied USB cable. Make sure you have removed both the protective clamp and the foam stabilizer above the aircraft's camera. Failure to remove these before startup can damage the gimbal motors during the aircraft startup sequence. Open up DJI Assistant 2 for Phantom and log in using your DJI account. Power on the aircraft by performing a short press followed by a long press. After a few seconds, DJI Assistant should recognize the aircraft you've connected to. Click on the icon and follow the prompts to activate the aircraft. Once you activate the aircraft, you may be prompted to update the FlySafe database, which contains the latest boundaries for restricted airspace zones. It is also likely that there will be a new version of the aircraft firmware available. Keeping your Phantom 4 RTK's firmware up to date is crucial for ensuring optimal performance while collecting surveys. Please visit our help article in the knowledge base for details and instructions for installing the latest firmware updates. Next, take your fully charged remote controller battery and insert it into the back hatch of the remote controller. Power on the remote controller by performing a short press followed by a long press. Follow along with the first time setup prompts to pick your language, time zone, and other system preferences. Make sure you have connected the controller to a Wi-Fi network so that you can log in with your DJI account.
When given the option, select to always use the GS RTK application on board the remote. This is the application that we recommend for all drone flights and surveys. Similar to the aircraft, it's likely that you'll need to update the controller's firmware. Visit our help article in the knowledge base for further details. Let's review some important information. Remember, it takes about 45 minutes for the drone's batteries to fully charge. If you're eligible, you must bind your DJI Enterprise Shield Basic plan within 48 hours of activating your drone. Finally, always check to make sure you're running the latest firmware updates for your drone and remote controller. You may be unable to fly without having the latest firmware. Thank you for watching. For more information about the Phantom 4 RTK, you can access the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base.